Leaders of the All Progressives Congress in the nation's capital are protesting the recent appointments by the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nyesom Wike, saying he is obsessed with engaging his People's Democratic Party loyalists at the expense of their members. And FCT party chieftains, including indigents of the Federal Capital Territory, who vented their frustration at a briefing in Abuja called on President Bola Tinubu to call the former River State Governor to order before he destroys his political future in the nation's capital. Led by an APC party chieftain in FCT, Abdul Wahab Ekeide, the group faulted the minister's appointments since his coming to office, describing them as lopsided and an utter disregard for FCT members of the party and indigents of the FCT who contributed to the president's election victory. Wiki has consistently come under heavy fire over his choice of appointments since he assumed office. Well... For more on this, I'm glad to be joined by Abdul Wahab Ekekide, who is the uh, convener of APC stakeholders in FCT. Thanks so much for joining us. And of course, uh, Jameson Dare, the legal advisor of the FCT original inhabitants. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so let me start with you, Wahab. Uh, talk to us about your grievances with the uh, Minister of FCT, Nyesom Wiki. Yes, uh, our grievances, if you list it to my press briefing on Monday, precisely on the 18th of March, uh, it was very clear that uh, the minister has perfected the, the art of importing political strangers to take over the political appointment in the FCT. And I tell you, as a politician, no politician wants to walk and then when it's time to eat, then you give the food to some other persons. The minister, though he's not in our party, but he was appointed by our party. You know that the, the, pre the FCT is 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 for Mr. President, because the President is the Governor General of the FCT. And so he only delegates his powers to a minister. And so that minister must take care of the structure of Mr. President. We, the members of the APC, are the structures of Mr. President. And so since he came on board, he has refused to either see the state chairman or the state executive or even stakeholders of the party. And that is not acceptable to us. And he was the one you had recently. He had a fight with his governor. And he said nobody can kill his political uh, structure or take over his political structure in River State. Why is he now killing the political structure of Mr. President who appointed him? And this is what we are saying as members of APC, as stakeholders, we are saying we will resist it. We will not, we will not accept it. And every time they complain and uh, you people didn't win election how do you win election when you go around you mobilize people and when it's time to appoint you appoint other people so how will these people and the people you appoint they don't even have a voters card in fct they don't vote here they don't have they don't belong to any political ward and yeah. so when general elections come all of them pack their bags and baggages and the, the empowerment that was given to them in the FCT, to their various, including the minister, they <laughs> will go. Right. And so when election comes, how do you want us to win election? When the people we are supposed to empower, they are not empowered. Oh, how do you, then I tell you the greatest problem the president will have is that right now, other parties are set trapped. They are, they are lobbying the members of APC because they want to woo them because they see that your party is not looking at your side. Yeah, the party seem to have abandoned yes. it. All right, uh, Barrister James, uh, let's talk about your own angle from the angle of the FCT indigents. Uh, you are also backing them and saying that uh, the government seems to have been uh, unfair, especially in recent appointments uh, into, the FCT Federal, uh, into the FCT Civil Service Commission. Yeah, um, we are backing the APC because... Uh, when there are elections and the elections are conducted and you are in government, a lot of times you don't even bother about the political party. You, you are most concerned now about the whole country and the people who are supposed to represent the government in various capacities. So, well, if the parties are talking about themselves, we are not saying that is wrong. We agree with them. They labor for it. They need to be you know, satisfied and uh, benefit, in fact, enjoying the level of your fruits. And what we are saying now is that uh, whether you are PDP or APC or whatever political party you belong to, we have a, uh, a geographical heartland that is described as a capital territory. And this capital territory is inhabited by Nigerian citizens. 
and these Nigerian citizens who have been living in this territory before the coming of the FCT, they have their rights and their right has to be protected by the law. Now when it comes to the term that uh, you are still residing in the Federal Capital Territory and when the FCT Act envisaged, envisaged that you are supposed to be settled out of the territory and that was not done, you are still there, that means the law still recognizes you as citizens of that territory and, of course, of the Nigerian country. So for that, in terms of governance, you are supposed to be involved. Inclusiveness, irrespective of whoever you are, political party you belong to, or whatever. Uh, yeah, but so, so, some people argue that uh, you already have a minister, President Tinubu gave you the first uh, indigenous minister from the FCT, and uh, that one out of uh, the other uh, permanent secretaries was an, uh, is an FCT native. So how do you reply to that? We thank the president for breaking the jinx, because for so many years we have not been given this opportunity. But let me tell you, that cannot be a consensus, because a concession to give us a minister and then you say that other things we are entitled for should not be given again to us? No, that is not constitutional. By right, constitutionally, we have been deprived of this position of the minister. So that the fact that you have, you know, uh, abided by the provision of the constitution and now you have appointed a minister among us does not mean that it has terminated our own rights in other fields. All right. And I come back to you, Wahab. Uh, you are uh, warning that APC may likely lose the elections in 2027 in the FCT, including uh, likely losing the FCT area council elections. Uh, what made you to come to such a conclusion? It is simple. If the foot soldiers of Mr. President are being disregarded, they are being ignored, the party, the party itself, the one that brought the president to power, is being disregarded, ignored, neglected. In fact, as if we don't even exist by the Honorable he, he ha, As I speak to you, he has not sat with The party has written a lot of letters. Yeah, I mean, that's what I wanted this to is, ask. This that is have you written to uh, some of, wicked? I want to see him. A lot he, of he letters disagreed. have been written. This last one was written by the child. So, okay, maybe if it's only me. He might want to see me. I want to see you, me alone. <laughs> this is okay. the letter. I, I want Nigerians to see it. That the party has written to you some wiki, several letters. He did not even reply to the letter. He has ignored. I said the party does not matter. Maybe and because said, you could not give uh, President Tinubu 25% no, in the FCT. That is the which problem. made it very no, controversial. No, that is what we are saying. <laughs> when you say you will give 25 that's what we are saying. Now, they say when they want to appoint, do appointment, they say you need to pick the, the appointees from the six geopolitical zones. But they forget that in the C I am also the chairman of the APC South South Forum in the FCT. So all the geopolitical zones have their people who are practicing and play politics in the FCT. So if you want somebody from Rivers, we have them here. Even if it's a professor you want, we have them here who are living here, they vote here, they belong to political world, they have followers, they are here. So if you want to appoint somebody from Sokoto, we have them here to represent the Northwest. If you want to appoint somebody from Gobe or Adamawa or whatever to represent the Northwest, they are here. Boronu, they are here. Any geopolitical zone you think about in this country, we are all resident in city and we are playing politics here. So why do you jump and bring somebody who knows little or nothing about FCT and make him an appointee, and when the time of election comes, they will leave us dry, and they go to their various states to use the resources yeah. of our city. And we are saying no to that. That is all accepted. And if we continue like this, we will lose, in fact, we will struggle to get 2% for Mr. President. And we will lose the forthcoming area council election. Except Mr. President wants us to lose. Let him leave we can alone. But if he does not want us to lose, he should call him to order, because the man must work with the structures of Mr. President. Yeah, but you are blaming we can alone. All the appointments that have been made by Wiki, especially of recent, have all had presidential approval. You will read from the press statement that President Bola Tinubu has appointed so 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 person through the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. So me, why are you not directing let, your concerns no, to President Tinubu directly? Right. Let me tell you the fact. Yeah. The fact is that the president does not know everybody. 
as the government, it's just like when president say, I want a minister from your state, you will be the one to nominate. Yeah. And so, if the president say, bring you, it is the list you bring. The president will, do you know, are they competent? Yes, the president, <laughs> since the minister says he knows them, the president have no choice than to, to appear the sick. So, the president might not know what's And that is why we are using this medium to tell Mr. President that the minister he has appointed is not doing the right thing because he has abandoned, neglected his own foot soldiers who will give him the vote in 2020. Because the danger is there. The danger is that if we continue like this, we can we kill the kill APC in FCT and kill the structure of Mr. President. And that is All what right. we are saying is unacceptable. But before I stop, let me thank Mr. President. Like that question you asked my, my friend here. Mr. President, we must thank him for breaking the age-long genes of appointing an indigenous person as a minister of the Federal Republic. And he we, was from the we, APC. Yes, he is from the APC. And we thank him so much. We are very grateful to Mr. President. In fact, if he gives us the honor, we will come and thank him personally to say thank you for what you have done uh, to uh, us. But right. you should call wicked to order. <laughs> all right. A very yes. interesting submission. So, uh, uh, and then let's talk about how uh, the, there could be a collective system of governance within the Federal Capital Territory, within the matrix of what the Constitution allows now. Because President Bolatinbu is, by default, the governor of the FCT. So how can he uh, uh, promote inclusive politics for both uh, party members, for indigenous people, for residents and other Nigerians who are here? You see, the essence of federal character principle is to promote national unity and to allow every Nigerian citizen to belong to and have a sense of, fully, a sense of belonging to the government of the country the state and even down to the local government. So if we have agreed that this constitution promotes national unity, then every other citizens of this country and uh, particularly the residents or indigents of the FCT should be included in every appointment. Not, it's not a privilege, it's a right. Is the law. Yeah, but Wiki has introduced the six geopolitical structure. When they want to make uh, uh, appointments, they go around to the states and get one per geopolitical zone. Any law. Uh, any, you would have heard what he said, that any, even the Nigerians who are resident here, why don't pick them from here? We are not against picking up anybody who is a resident here. But what we are saying is that person who is a resident here, the Federal Character Commission has already defined who an indigenous of FCT is. And so we are not against whoever is a resident or indigent, but as far as you have what it takes to belong to FCT, then you should also be given the opportunity to, to have a sense of belonging to the government of FCT administration. That is the law. Now, if Mr. Uke, the Honorable Minister, as a lawyer as I know him, will understand the law, he knows that the Federal Character, Commission, uh, Federal Character Commission has its own safeguards, guidelines for appointment of political uh, appointees into political offices or public service. Now, that law has to be complied with. He knows that. He is a lawyer. All right. Well, uh, you would have heard from uh, Wahhabi that there are political consequences ahead. I mean, the area council elections uh, will come before that of the 2027 election. What uh, likely consequences do you foresee for the governing APC? Uh, according to him, if they don't play ball, maybe uh, other political parties could take advantage of the APC. Well, he is speaking for the APC. I am speaking for the indigenous. And then whether you are APC or PDP, our people are waiting. <laughs> All right. Very interesting. They are waiting. So if the APC would like their government to be good, they should listen to them. Because our people too are waiting. Mm -hmm. Our people have their own way to cast their vote. And they can cast their vote to any political party that is, has an listening ears to them and who, that can satisfy their uh, plights. All right, uh, as we try to round off this conversation, we have, there's been this thing about uh, FCT, its status, and then, of course, presidents. Most presidents, uh, apart from maybe Obasanjo, have always had issues. Beginning from uh, uh, Buhari, I mean, he had issues with obtaining 25% here, and he didn't lie about it. I mean, he was always frontal and saying that, look, it looks like you people in the Federal Capital Territory don't like the a a APC. 
Uh, and so there was a particular uh, statement he used. I'm trying to uh, remember as if he was trying to say that we only try to accommodate you, but it, it looks like you are irritant. And in 2023 election, the same thing almost happened again. Uh, so how do we promote inclusive governance in the FCT so that the president will not always be watching uh, through their back so that maybe Tinubu can work well to earn 25% or more in 2027? Very simple. Simple. Empower the people, the players in FCT. Once you empower them, their followers will follow. It is just simple. Empower the players in FCT. The political players in FCT are not empowered. That's the problem because if followers are looking up to leaders and leaders are not empowered how do you because empowerment is in stages if you empower me i'll empower another person so if the leaders are not empowered how do you expect the followers to be empowered so what the president needs to do is to tell whoever is minister say look when next you want to make appointment even right now Break appointment from indigenous people and make the representation of the geopolitical zone from those players who are here, who are also from those geopolitical zones. That is a simple solution, I must tell you. Because if you look at even the 2023 election, you know, there was also, apart from all this issue, there was a bad war going in 2023. Even Mr. President lost his state. So, what are we saying? So, it was a bad war god that nobody expected, and it came. Yeah, so, I mean, so, that was a I, very strong yeah, point, was, actually. You, you so, if they are using the 25% uh, against you, what of Tinubu who lost his Lagos? State. He, they okay. lost. So, a lot of leaders lost their state. Mm. So, you cannot now single out the FCT to say, FCT, why are you losing? Because I tell you, even ministers before Wiki, they have been doing this, but Wiki's one is now worse because he has gone, he has, he's like spitting in our face. He went to bring the former chairman of PDP, who is fairly Chief mm. Felix. Well, so we know him. Mm. The, his chief of staff is, was the former chairman of PDP in his local government report, and you are bringing all your PDP structures to come to the FCT, and you leave the party that appointed you. We, we said we said no to him. Well, but, we they say, uh, him. but they say Wiki is one of the star boys of, this, uh, so? of he, the PDP, uh, of the Tinubu led the federal said? government. Look, because the, the president <laughs> is not <laughs> aware of what's happening. And oh, you think so? We want him to be aware. All right. We want him to know that the minister he has sent to take care of his children in FCT, he is not not doing that. He's bringing strangers to come and eat the resources he gave to him. And we will say no. We resist that. We challenge him. He must change his ways. He must retrace his step and begin to empower the the people who are playing the politics in the FCT, which cut across all the well, geopolitical uh, just very quickly, in 30 seconds, uh, uh, in the, just before we go, APC at the presidential election tribunal, way up to Supreme Court, had uh, been fighting the FCT is a state. FCT is a state. So why is it difficult for the APC left for government by President Tulbu to devolve some things to, 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 to indigenous people and the FCT uh, residents when the same APC argued that the Supreme Court, the FCT is a state? Very quickly. Well, you see, our superior courts of records have already interpreted section 299 of the Constitution that the FCT is a state. And that is the position. And that is the law at the moment. So, if FCT is a state, then that means that <clears throat> Every appointment that's supposed to be made in FCT administration has to be done in such a way that FCT is operating as a state. Right. And so the Federal Character Commission has to apply it here. And All then right. it must be complied with. All right. Uh, we must thank you so much. Uh, okay. James Day is a uh, lawyer, a legal advisor for the original inhabitants of the FCT. That's the FCT indigenous. We must thank you so much for joining us. And of course, uh, Abdul Wahab, who is uh, uh, <laughs> firing, firing from all cylinders, I mean, mm -hmm. who, smoking guns everywhere. Uh, you are saying that uh, President Tunubu should listen to the APC in the he, FCT. He and of course, Wiki needs to listen to President Tunubu he so must. that he will do the right thing. I want thank you so I much. Wish I may bring to you. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Well, unfortunately, we do not have so enough time again. Uh, we must thank you so much uh, for thank joining you. us uh, right here to help us understand the issues in the nation's capital and, of course, political appointments. Well, that's how it's been for this edition of Arise Primetime. Do join us again next week from me and the entire team here in Abuja. Goodbye and thank you for watching. I'm Somna Sambo.